Today I am going over the 2024 governor's election and my updated prediction for how I think the governor's races will go this year. The governor's elections in 2024 is one that I think certainly does not get the media attention that the presidential race does or even the 2024 Senate map does for that matter. And part of it could be just the presidential race is so interesting that these kind of get uh, flown under the radar a bit. And also the fact that there's only 11 governor's races up for 2024. Most of them happen off year in 2026 will be the next election. But they are nonetheless, I think, very important for uh, all the people living in these states. And I think they are also showing some very interesting characteristics in at least a few of the states. A lot of them we know how they will go, but I think nevertheless still interesting to take a look at. So first things first, I'm going to go through the states that we know for sure are safe. And this will be a relatively quick video because there's only a few governor's races I actually see as competitive, but nonetheless, interesting to take a look at. The state of Wa uh, Washington, Washington State, will be a safe Democratic state for the governor's race. Utah, same thing. The Republican will win here in over 15 percentage points, safe meaning over 15. Montana will be safe. North Dakota will be safe. Missouri will be safe. Indiana will be safe. West Virginia will be safe for the Republican. Delaware will be safe for the Democrat. In the state of Vermont, where there is the Republican governor, Phil Scott, moderate Republican will win this state. That has the Republicans at seven, Democrats are at two. The two remaining governor's races are the state of New Hampshire and the state of North Carolina. Definitely the two most contested this cycle of the governor's races, North Carolina and New Hampshire. And my hot take is actually that New Hampshire is by far the more competitive of the two. And I'll be getting into that in a second. But first, I'm going to go over the state of North Carolina. North Carolina right now has been a very much a surprise where the Democratic candidate Josh Stein is at 48.2%. The Republican Mark Robinson is at 39.5%. And it's very well and very important to note the current governor of North Carolina is Democrat Roy Cooper. And typically at the end of two terms of a Democratic governor, which is he's up for a second term and he can't run again because of term limits, there is the opportunity for the Republicans to win because there is usually the opposite party does well after two terms of the incumbent party. That has been not the case so far in the polls where Josh Stein is leading Mark Robinson and the average by 8.7, and some polls by 6, some by 14, 5, 6 points, 10 points. The one thing that's been in common is Mark Robinson has not led in a poll since the beginning of June to late May. He's not led since, and I have not really seen anything here to suggest, barring a late election surprise, that Robinson will be able to make up this deficit. I think right now Josh Stein is favored to win this race and win it by over 5 percentage points. So that'll give the state of North Carolina to the Democrats, the, to Josh Stein. He's at three. Republicans are at seven. Now we're going to go to the state of New Hampshire. And New Hampshire is a state that has not gotten a ton of coverage this election cycle because the presidential race is not really too close. It's still a battleground state, but not really. Harris is leading Trump here by about six or seven points. The governor's race, though, is very, very interesting. And there's a few reasons why. Firstly, in the Republican primary, there's Kelly Ayotte, the former senator who's running for governor now, going up against a 2022 Senate candidate in Chuck Morse. Ayotte has been kind of the candidate to appeal to all the Republican voters, while Chuck Morse has been campaigning heavily on being the MAGA candidate in this race. Right now, uh, Donald Trump has not endorsed either candidate in this race, and there's not been much reporting suggesting that he will endorse the candidate in this race. So... And the, also important to note that the primary is coming up on two Tuesdays from now. So I want to get the exact date for you, not to give you inaccurate information. It will be on Tuesday, September 10th. That will be the primary for the state of New Hampshire. And Trump has not yet endorsed either candidate in this race. We'll have to wait and see if he does. Right now, I think Ayotte is probably most likely to win this primary. The question is who she will be facing. The Democratic primary has Democratic former mayor of Manchester, Joyce Craig, going up against executive counselor Cindy Warmington. This race has actually been much closer than I expected. I thought Craig had higher name recognition in the state of New Hampshire, so she would run away with this. But the most recent poll from the University of New Hampshire had this be a nine-point race, 
and one that could potentially be close and to keep an eye out for. Right now, I think Craig is most likely to win the primary and face Ayotte, and when that was the case, there's been two polls. One had Ayotte up by nine points, one had Ayotte up by three points. Both of them had Ayotte leading, so I do think Ayotte will win, and I don't think there's too much of a question as whether or not Kelly Ayotte will be able to win this race. The question is by how much. And I right now think Ayotte will win this race by about six percentage points, six to seven percentage points, something like 53 to 47 or 54 to 46, something percentage-wise in that range, which is enough to put New Hampshire in the likely Republican margin. It's very, very interesting where in this uh, election cycle for the governor's races, North Carolina at the presidential level is more of a Republican state than New Hampshire is, certainly. And yet, I feel very confident the Democrat will win in North Carolina in the governor's race. And I feel very confident the Republican will win in New Hampshire in the Republican's governor's race. So it's in New Hampshire's Republican governor's race. So it's very, very interesting. As I, f- I forgot to mention as well that Kelly Ayotte is running to replace the incurrent the incumbent Republican governor, Chris Sununu, in New Hampshire. He has decided not to run for re-election. She's running to replace him. His poll numbers remain very high in terms of approval, and Ayotte right now is on track to win this election. So Republicans are projected to win three or eight governor's races, excuse me. Democrats projected to win three. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a like, click share, subscribe, comment, and also make sure to stay tuned because I'll be posting a video now for every single day leading up to election day, so stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you in a future video.